I have never received such a gift. And the questions that I've had my whole life all of a sudden came together and um, for me that brings the most amount of peace. I don't have to go and search anymore. I can just be and I can just live and everything has shifted. Uh, I definitely think my life has changed already seeing that I got engaged here. <laughs> uh, and also there's a date for December 1st to get married uh, to my beautiful fiance who's back there packing. So um, yeah, it's, uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I think I can echo the same sentiments as, um, as Rian. A mythic voyage is kind of like matchmaker as well. Sure. <laughs> In a fun way. Coming to the realization that like, it, it's so simple. Like my whole life I wanted to be this like celebrity thing. Then it started to like eat me. It was like this entity mm -hmm. thing that was like, you just want to be a celebrity and and it's it's not it's not the truth my mom's been telling me this shit for years but there's something <laughs> about a mythic voyage that like really helps you understand that as like a, as a truth yeah i felt like before i came to this workshop i lived my life in like a state of anxiety and just constantly telling myself i wasn't good enough and i couldn't do this and i couldn't do that and um coming here just kind of like gave me more clarity and realizing like i don't have to um live up to be like a certain person in order to feel like good enough for other people like I can just be myself and live my life the way I want to live it and just be happy doing that and like yeah <laughs> no more anxiety <laughs> the workshop was um, much more intense much more um, uh, very much like a, a, a surgery as, as to how he was able to really get to the parts that I didn't even recognize in my own self uh, being able to see it also and and the other uh, the other people here uh, it was very interesting to see there's never there's never really a dry eye mm. if I think about it any of the crying. days yes yeah, so crying from <laughs> happiness or crying from sadness yeah. or crying from letting go or yes. crying from oh my god life <laughs> marriage, <laughs> yeah. marriage. Yeah. yeah and being so deeply touched by also the other people's stories mm -hmm. and seeing that we're really all the same and that we all struggle with similar issues so yeah. the biggest challenge is realizing that like all these beliefs about myself and, and everything was um actually things that I had to change you know and that was hard because I was like resisting and resisting and resisting but then when I realized that like the, like I can choose the way I think about myself which is like super cool <laughs> <laughs> then um yeah that was like the biggest change <laughs> well, I just say for me it was realizing who I was and the persona I was putting out is not who I actually am. Yeah, I'm not that person I thought I was. I'm actually somebody totally different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think for me the biggest struggle was to really come to a place of trust and let go of that um, very suspicious feeling and like oh yeah I have to find like oh, that does that really make sense and to let go of that and really ask myself the question does that really matter now or um, yeah so to open me up fully to the message and uh, yeah but then I eventually got there yeah. <laughs> so yeah yeah it's amazing how much you can really understand about yourself the more you start to trust things kind of piggybacking on that yeah and a lot of things become a lot more clear uh, and just the less resistance that you have because you're usually going against these different beliefs that you have instilled in you um, it definitely uh, opens your eyes a lot easier and it's yeah just what a hell of a ride honestly <laughs> <laughs> for me i think the biggest change has been that i've been able to find the direction um, something that i didn't have before you know i was always sh very short-term planned getting lost in that and this gave me direction and a destination to work towards and that for me is tremendous. The greatest gift was to understand life. I mean there could be no greater gift. That's the question that pushes everybody or everybody asks and everybody wonders their lives asking that question. But most people never getting an answer. So to get that answer is it's the greatest gift ever. Even if you're not feeling like you're lost in your life or you're not going through a struggle it's like you can still come and like amp yourself up and like it's all about finding clarity it's like clearing away the like 
<laughs> yeah, everyone could could use it. This is my third one. It's like, okay, Phoebe, calm down. <laughs> and there's always more. There's always more to clear and more like. More is more. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Not that I need more. I'm satisfied with what I have. Yeah. But I love it. I love the work. I love the work. Yeah. And it's. Yeah, and then when we leave is when the work actually starts. Yeah. It's like, it's not a workshop that you just come and like, it's like you, you do the work and then everything's fixed. It's like you get get the tools and then you go into your life and you gotta keep, you have to basically live in a workshop your whole life to be. Yeah. <laughs> if you really want to conquer the world. Yeah. With love. For me, I'm, I want to say this as a doctor because I'm, um, over the last 10 years, I've been losing faith in the medicine that I practice and I've been looking for tools because I didn't find the tools in the practices and I saw it in my patients. And um, I have to say, this is, the, this is the tool. This is the thing that we need. This is, this is why people come to the doctor, is because we don't have this. So for humanity, I, would, I could not recommend anything more as a doctor i think this is crucial <laughs> this is how we're going to survive mm. if we don't do this we will not survive and um i cannot think of anything more important can you write prescriptions <laughs> someone comes to the doctor comes to you and they're sick and then you're like ah mythic voyage here you go <laughs> i would love to <laughs> i think many people who've heard about it are also kind of intimidated because they hear that like all these deep things will be pulled out mm. and they think oh in front of a group it's going to be embarrassing or um, and many people um, think or struggle whether they can have the courage to really come here and uh, yeah I would uh, want to encourage everybody to take that risk and mm. because otherwise you just get stuck. Mm. You feel in a very safe environment it's yeah. not you can talk about anything and not be embarrassed. You think you're going to be embarrassed, but actually when you say it, it's almost like a relief. Mm. And you feel very, um, yeah, you feel in a bubble and you feel loved by everybody in the group. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, you can feel you can say anything. Yeah, because it really makes you feel like there's nothing that you could <laughs> ever say that he would be shocked in a way, like yeah. no matter what what it is. Yeah. He'll say it first yeah. so you don't get embarrassed. Yeah, yeah. no big deal. It's, yeah. yeah. it's a real life drama. Yeah. It's, mm. it's the most. It's like, yeah. it could be like the 12 toughest days or 12, yeah, toughest days of your life, but at the end of it, like. You've got this like whole new life of like yeah. happiness.